What is up, YouTube's Paul Hauser Lifestyle Fitness here in a kitty house. The YouTube pay is good, as you can tell. This is my home. I like your house. Don't be jealous. It's got running water. I don't think that seat <laughs> works there. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I think Let me see we're this. making Let me see some this. gains. Who is this? It's gains on the It's Obama. Obama. Mr. Obama trying to come make some gains with us. <laughs> That's going to make someone angry. Serious. All right, what is on the agenda today? We are back home with Mr. Tyler Cote. How's it going? Got a little high sand wave. Anyways, left a partner for a long time now, so we're back here at our uh, home gym. Gonna hit some chest and some shoulder action in here. Real quick, gonna kill it. And as you can tell from the attire, the proper Balkan uniform, is it not? Is it not? We ain't got them jackets on. We got them loose fitted shit because you know your thighs are trying to get big. Oh. We got the Velcro sock flies because your gut gets so big you can't bend over and tie your own damn shoes so you just go boop and then Velcro's on. And you got the baggy hoodie that doesn't have strings because they get so sweaty from your nasty BO, am I right? That you watch it so many times that you lose the string. This is my house. Let's get it. Oh shit, we back at it guys, right here, Paul Hauser, narrating time. Alright, we're going to start this video off kind of differently. I'm um, not sure if a lot of you guys know, but I actually had double shoulder surgery. So before I work out, and regardless of whatever I do, I always try to get a good shoulder mobility work um, stretch in. As you can see, I like to use these 10 pound weights because, why not? Because big weight is the key to grow. No, just to kind of get the rotators warmed up, get them feeling good, um, so I don't have any more issues. Um, haven't had any issues since, so that definitely is working good for me. Definitely give it a try if you ever are scared of shoulder problems. Moving right into the workout, we start with this machine right here. It was a decline, decline plate press, and as you can see, I'm really just trying to get out those last couple reps. I even went for one more right here, and that is definitely something I've noticed differently with my bulking phase, is I can push myself just past I wouldn't say failure, but I can hit one more rep, so it makes me pretty happy to see that. And then we actually went into this machine right here, as you guys can see, it is a, kind of an inclined plate press. Pardon, it's going to split your titties kind of like God did to the C. If you're trying to get that separation in them upper titties, definitely give something like that a try, or else there's a couple other machines and whatnot you can try. Definitely something we like to do at this gym. And then we moved over here to lower cable flies. Um, just trying to bring up your overall pec size, if you want to say that. Just love these overall. Um, kind of went a little bit more heavy weight on these. That's why we're keeping the wrist or the elbows bent the whole time. Um, kind of overloading them, getting about 15 reps. Yes, we're still getting a lot of reps, just really killing it. And another thing right there, guys, if you can see it, I mean, if you guys don't have fun in the gym, why do you go? If you don't really love doing it, why do you do it? You know, you got to kick back and have some fun every once in a while. Every time me and Tyler uh, always work out, we always have a good time. But, um, Going into some shoulder work now, as you guys saw the chest work, like I said, chest and shoulders, um, standing barbell press, as also you can see his range of motion if you guys paid attention to that. He actually goes completely vertical, moving his head forward at the top of the motion. And then we superset it actually that with these push-ups. Amazing workout right here. It's almost like flies again, but without the dumbbells or anything else, just switching it up, uh, the push-up motion right there, really getting it, as you can see, below parallel. These um whatever you want to call them, brackets, whatever they're called, allow you to do that. Holding at the bottom, really getting that squeeze. And then we moved over into some side lateral dumbbell raises. Um, as you can see, the elbow is just slightly popping up a little bit to make sure we get that whole um, head itself. Uh, just love these. Definitely don't ever like, to, I don't personally ever like to go heavy weight on these. Um, just isn't good for me overall with my shoulder issues but really just killing it on these last few. I mean, make sure you completely destroy them. I pretty much go to complete failure here. Wait for it, wait for it. Uh, you can see how fudge, that's what I said. I didn't say the F word. And then kind of showing Tyler here also, you're gonna see it, I mean, he goes to failure. He's starting to put a little bit of a umph into it. You're starting to use those legs. I mean, that's how much of a failure you go into. And then we hit some rear delt cable pulls. And as you can see, see my uh, how I grabbed the rope actually? is gonna be a little bit different than how you'll see right here, Tyler grabs it. Both working rear delt, just do whatever works for you guys. I mean, everybody's different. He feels it more like this, I feel it more the other way. Whatever way you guys prefer, do it that way. And then we finished off right here with some front lateral twists. I love to finish off this. I mean, it's just a great finisher in my opinion. Um, like, once again, I do not like to go heavy. 
Um, Tyler liked to go a little bit more heavy and did 40s. I prefer to stay lightweight. I'm not trying to bust my shit and be out of the gym for a few weeks. So we try to stay somewhat lightweight, but still put in a good, um, good amount of weight where I can. So hopefully you guys like this commentating. Um, stay tuned for the next part, especially my baby while it's in storage. And stay tuned. Cheers. Just had a killer chest and shoulder session with Tyler. If you guys don't remember Tyler, he was actually one of my older videos. You guys can probably go and search that. I believe it was a tricep and chest workout. He likes his chest. But um, definitely killed it. Um, if you guys don't usually do chest and shoulder workout, definitely give it a try. It's definitely something new. It's something different. Um, I like it a lot because you activate a lot of the same muscle groups, I guess you could say. Like you'll activate... The front of your, I'll say front part of your shoulder for a lot of you guys. Um, when you're benching and simple things like that, you're always kind of activating both of them. So go ahead and give it a try. See if you guys like the workout we did. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. Kept it pretty short. Try to keep it quick. And that should be everything. A um, couple more videos coming up here soon for you guys. Uh, bulking. Update on that. Everyone still asks me. Um, I think the last video, I'm still at 2,800 calories and everything. So I up my calories once again. To put on more size, I woke up at 159, I believe, four days ago. Stepped on the scale this morning at 157. So my body's getting used to it, speeding up metabolism, burning it off. Um, so I'm going to have to probably up it again, but I'm going to cheat all day on Christmas. I know that because I'm trying to enjoy that shit. Everyone should. And everything else is going pretty good. I Actually, I'm hitting new PRs um, on a lot of lifts. So that's definitely something good, especially on this. Staying relatively lean, honestly, and trying to eat six meals a day and still upping it. Uh, eventually, we'll probably be at 3,000 calories after um, Christmas, uh, but like I said, I'm going to cheat really hard on Christmas, so I know it's going to put some water weight on, so we're going to see where I am after that a few days, but bulking's going good, that's a quick update for you guys, and be sure to stay tuned for the next couple videos we have coming out, uh, definitely got a good one coming up soon for you guys, but stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you guys want to see, let me know if you guys like this, um, and share the video, share the crap out of it, share the shit out of it, share the poop out of it, whatever you want to say, whatever you call, whatever lingo you like, remember, don't make it a job, make it a lifestyle. Paul Hauser, Lifestyle Fitness. Until next time, adios.